Hello, my name is Brandon Johnson, and this video continues my demonstration of the Siemens Somatic IT XFP Manufacturing Execution System platform. In the previous video segment, I completed execution of an electronic batch record. In this segment, I will demonstrate the tools available within XFP to review and analyze the EBR after execution has been completed. From the workflow view of the completed EBR, you can see that all of the tasks have been completed and are shaded gray. With a paper batch record, the next step would be a painstaking batch review process in which every field and every signature in the entire document would need to be reviewed for accuracy, but EBR makes things much simpler. If you viewed the previous segment, you may remember that we generated an alert near the end of the execution because our batch did not meet the yield requirement of 95%. This alert needs to be reviewed before our batch can be released. Let's open the alerts tracking window. From here, it is possible to see all of the alerts and deviations that were generated during EBR execution. In the table at the top of the screen, you can see that deviation that was generated by missing the batch yield target. You can also see the comment I typed explaining that I spilled two kilograms of material. More importantly, the bottom of the window shows the exact spot in the EBR where the alert was generated, so the quality auditor does not need to search through the entire batch record to find it. This feature enables one of the most exciting and beneficial functions of EBR, batch review by exception. By building strong data validation into your batch records, EBR can allow your quality reviewers to focus on just the data fields that are out of range and avoid needing to double check every field on the batch record. This saves countless hours and allows your team to actually focus on the quality of your process rather than the quality of your documentation. It is also possible to view and print the fully executed batch record, but since the MES is fully 21 CFR 11 compliant, there is no need to retain paper copies of your batch records. Everything is stored securely in the database and can be reviewed at any time. Data archiving features allow you to keep executed electronic copies of your EBRs for as long as necessary. Furthermore, powerful tools allow you to easily trace product genealogy via visual flowcharts and graphs. For instance, I'll input the work order number that I just executed into the genealogy search box. Instantly, I'm able to see the three lots that we used in this work order represented as triangles in the chart. The blue rectangles represent the specific containers used from those lots and show their status at the time. The work order status is shown in the oval and the green rectangle shows that we produced a new lot that is currently in quarantine status waiting to be released. Performing a search on a specific container will show you every other work order that container was used in. This powerful function allows you to easily manage and limit the impact of quality events like material contamination and product recalls. It is also possible to view the detailed traces of all of the actions performed against a specific work order. Here you can see the details of every task that was performed in the EBR and the ID of the user who performed the task. All system actions are controlled by access rights and everything is completely transparent and searchable in the system traces. Of course, since everything in the EBR is captured electronically in the database, it is also possible to generate reports on any of your batch data. Here's an example of a weighing report that shows all of the materials weighed against the work order. Combined, all of these tools, alert review, EBR review, genealogy, system traces, and reporting, mean that you have greater visibility into and control over your process. As you can see, EBR is a highly flexible and extremely powerful system. It doesn't just allow for paperless manufacturing and collecting of data. It transforms that data into useful information and helps to increase overall quality and productivity.